Ozarks. Welcome back everyone 1115 on this Thursday morning Thursdays when the drought monitor comes out with an updated drought map and it, it isn't good. It, of course, drought conditions have only grown over the past week because we've not seen any rain. Exceptional drought now pushing further into the state of Missouri or extreme drought conditions have now moved on into almost Green County, uh, parts of Green County in our northern area and moving over to I-44. Everyone, which wasn't the case, is now moderate drought conditions or worse. It's now really affecting that water supply. I was reading about how major lakes are anywhere from two to seven feet below average. Some of these rivers are well below um, where they normally are for this time of the year. And the fact that it's having on farmers is just heartbreaking as they're already starting to feed hay and probably have been for quite some time. Now this is October rainfall. It's been dry. You don't need me to tell you that. However, there was a week where we saw maybe a few sprinkles every day. In all of that week, we got a quarter of an inch of rain here in Springfield and you can see average is closer to two inches, just a little over two inches. West Plains has been extremely dry. Rolla, Joplin, Springfield, we are all almost two inches below where we should be just for this month on rainfall and you factor in September was dry, August was dry, June and July were dry. It's really starting to pile up. We're now well behind for the year, which wasn't the case because that spring had been so wet. Precipitation chances over the next seven days. I do have good news. It's been dry, but we do have rain returning to our forecast Monday into Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Next at the end of next week too, another chance of rain. So if we can hold out, it's going to be a very dry next couple of days. Not a great time to burn because of the dry, but the rain is a coming. I like that. Okay, we do have just two counties under a red flag warning this afternoon, and that is Shannon and Oregon counties in Missouri. So no burning. It's not a good idea to burn wherever you are. Winds will kind of be picking up this afternoon. Very dry ground cover because of the drought, and the air is very dry as well. So as we head into the weekend, nothing's been issued yet, but I won't be surprised when I start to see those red flag warnings come up. 63 degrees temperatures on the rise across the area. If you think about it yesterday morning, we were starting off at 21. So 63 temperatures will warm close to 70 degrees and we're looking at a lot of blue sky. A little bit of cloud coverage trying to move in from the north, but I think we're going to see plenty of sunshine for today. So with that mid to low 70s, Winds are going to gust up to 18 miles per hour out of the southwest. Overnight tonight, we're going to see partly cloudy skies. Southwest winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then take a look at this seven day forecast because we're going to be very warm and very windy as we head into the weekend. Close to 80 degrees on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's what we consider an Indian summer where temperatures go back to summer after we've had the cool freezing weather that we just saw. By Monday, scattered storms will be possible. The chance of rain on Tuesday and it'll also cool us down when that cold front moves through. Temperatures will drop and hopefully, hopefully we can get about an inch of rain in that time period right there. Hopefully, my fingers yes, are crossed. <laughs> we really need that rain. Hopefully we can get it and we are getting a warm up again. That's interesting. It I is know. interesting. <laughs> yes, interesting. Some of us like it, some of us don't. Yeah, it just seems very summer like and if you have plans to, you know, to go to the, the corn maze or it's just going to be hot and it's going to be really windy and dusty. Yeah, you would want it to feel like fall. Well, we all have also